Hello everybody, welcome to our next game, The Outer Worlds. Um, so this episode is going to be like a prequel episode. Um, this is a bigger game than we usually play on this channel. Um, but really honestly, this is what the type of game that I really love doing. They just take a lot of time. Um, so I've been throwing the ball around a lot about whether or not I should do an RPG because man, I love them, but they do take a lot of investment. Um, but with Outer Worlds 2 being announced, I just felt like it was time. Um, so if you don't know anything about this game, this game is a futuristic um, first person shooter game, I guess, um, with kind of like a similar system as Fallout. Um, Obsidian made one of the first, I think it was the first Fallout game that was outsourced. Um, so Bethesda makes all of the Fallout games, but they outsourced a New Vegas, Fallout 3 New Vegas to Obsidian, and they did a fucking amazing job. Um, probably most people say it's the best Fallout game ever. I've never played it, honestly. Um, but they've also made other great titles like Pillars of Eternity. Um, they're a really, really good studio. And they finally said, fuck it, let's make a direct comp competitor to Fallout with this. Um, the idea of this is that this is future human race where they've colonized different worlds and capitalism has kind of taken over. So... Yeah, um, let's get into the game and figure out what character we're going to make. I'm actually really excited about this. I've played a few hours of this. Uh, that looks that looks fine to me. Um, but not on PC and also like it was whenever it first came out. There are two DLC packs, which they're talking about here. Um, we'll worry about that later because we're starting a new game anyway. These are the two DLC packs, um, which I do have. Uh, let me go in here and check the settings real quick. All of this will probably mess with more once we get in game. Okay. Um, let's load into a normal game. Oh, there's difficulties. As much as I would love to just play story mode. Use this mode if you enjoy story more than combat. In story mode, enemies have less health and do less damage. Boring. This is the recommended mode for your first play session. In normal mode, enemies have standard health and damage. Um, this mode is for players who are looking for an extra challenge. Enemies have more health and do more damage. Supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players. Okay, so we can kind of amp it up. Supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game. If you reduce the difficulty below Supernova, you cannot re-enable it. Enemies have more health and deal more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Ooh, so it makes it like a survival game. Well, we're not going to do that. I am going to put it on hard mode just because I feel confident. Um, I have played Fallout 4. Uh, we're going to leave all subtitles on. Oh, that's cool that they go through this. Most games do not. Uh, I'm really excited about this game. I just, Walk I love these games. Yeah, I'm okay, sad enough. Colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full Ooh, with maximizing productivity, just what I want to do. Become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Also, there's voice acting in this game, so you don't have to listen to me make a bunch of terrible accents that I cannot maintain for more than a couple sentences. Hope to be left at the edge of the breach of hope security quarter an unidentified ship. <laughs> and there is the same familiar humor from Fallout, uh, but a little bit like notched up, I think. Obsidian is one of those studios that does a really good job. Fugitive wanted by Halcyon Holdings. I didn't read all of that. I got distracted. I haven't played like a real graphics game in a long time, and it's just so nice. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left adrift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Crap. 
cryopods. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so let's build our character. Okay, so the way I usually play most of these games is I go rifles and shoddies. So I was looking up some stuff. I also do a lot of looting. I cannot help it. I have to get everything. I'm going to try to tone that down in this game because it's a really bad, bad um, habit. So I definitely want to go better with long guns, handguns, long guns, heavy weapons, lockpick, engineering, I think, um, persuade, hack, medical, science, determination. I don't think I'm going to play like a, um, what's it called? Or like charismatic, charismatic, that's the word, <laughs> character. I think I'm going to go with more, actually. Some people are rough around the edges. You're serrated. <laughs> uh, how, how much like the, um, me should this be? Um, I think, let's see, two-handed melee, don't care about lying, I don't care about sneaking, I don't care about, I mean, lying could be fun, actually. Medical, I don't really care about. Engineering. Um, does it say what these are? Does it? Natural health regen, though. That's a good point. Charm effects, faction reputation, com companion ability cooldowns. Meh. Perception effects, headshot, and weak spot damage bonuses. That's actually nice. Intelligent effects, critical hit bonus damage. We definitely rely on that. Or at least I do. Um, dexterity effects, melee attack speed. Melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. Now that's important. Uh, strength effects, melee weapon damage, and the amount you can carry. I do want to put that up one. I think I'm going to put this up even higher. Finally, uh, someone I can have a conversation with. I definitely want that. I think I'm going to put uh, another point into this. Kind of go for that, like in D and D, like that ranger mentality, like speedy and can shoot something. Um, maybe I should put this back up, though. I kind of like the idea of just not having reputation gains, just like slightly reduced. Companion ability refresh, positive faction reputation, negative faction reputation. Um, I definitely want to keep that for the health region, which is kind of weird that it's under personality. I wonder if it's, it's, if... You'd need a navigation Zero health computer region. to find your temper. I do like the idea of just having like a very like ready to kill everything. Sneak lie. I, d I don't want to put lie that low though. So um, let's put dexterity up. I think that'll be good. This will give us handguns, which I don't really care about. I care more about long guns. Inspiration block. The problem is I don't care about any of this, but my carrying capacity I do care about. Like, <laughs> I want to carry stuff, but I don't care about anything heavy. So I think that's the build we're going to go with. I don't know if I want this, actually. I do want lock picking though. Is that in any other category? It is in this one. So, hmm. I feel like lying. Because maybe I should bring this back up to zero. I like having a bad trait though. I don't know if that's just from playing D&D &D or whatever, but I really do like having a bad trait. And I don't really generally rely on science stuff in these games. And I'm not really big on companions. I think that's good. I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, just one up in strength. Um, just to give us a little extra carrying capacity, because I tend to be a pack rat. Um, two up in dexterity to give us this 20 plus so on normal. melee. M I don't care about melee. Uh, ranged weapons. Um, I Honestly, I never use melee like in Fallout or anything. 35% on critical damage. I really like putting luck in these games, so that'll be fun. Okay. So I can use the keyboard. 
Oh, and then we can add two skills to kind of like add in our, our um, what do you call it? I can't talk today. That's good. Um, let's see what we want to go into. We probably want to go into range. Your weapon sway and critical hit damage. Each point in range significantly increases handguns, long guns, and heavy weapon skills up to 50 points each. Um, I mean, I already got that at 20, so that's pretty good. Dodge and block I will literally never use. I mean, it's good to have armor. I tend to be a bit of a bullet sponge. Um, oh, her lie is so low. I guess I won't be lying a lot. I guess I'll be persuading a lot. That'll be fine. Um, I do want to get lock picking up, and I can't do that. I don't really care about any of this. What is, oh, let me just read through these. One, the one-handed melee skill increases critical hit chance with one-handed melee weapons, and with two-handed melee weapons. Don't really care about any of that. What is the ends of these? Virtuoso one-handed melee crit critical hits ignore 100% armor. That's kind of cool. Power and sweep attack chance to stun plus 50%. That's pretty cool too. I like reading like the generic what it does and like the max ability just because I find it interesting. Range weapon skill. The handgun skill decreases weapon sway while firing one-handed firearms and also increases critical hit chance with those weapons. Um, critical hits ricochet and hit another enemy. That's fun. I might actually use handguns. I, I tend to go for rifles, though. The long gun skill decreases weapon sway while firing rifles and their long guns and also increases critical hit chance with those weapons. Non-critical hits ignore 50% armor. Now that is freaking cool. That could be fun with a shotgun. The heavy weapons will just... Skill decreases weapon sway when firing heavy weapons and also increases hit chance. Uh, heavy weapons instantly reload after using... Okay, now that's fun. Now I kind of wish we did a heavy weapon. Uh, the dodge skill increases the distance traveled when dodging and reduces the duration of harmful, harmful status effects. Oh, that's interesting. Um, they don't usually include like any way to decrease those. It's usually in some kind of constitution. When dodging, 25% chance to stun enemies within 3 meters. Interesting. Meters? What are those? The block will skill provides bonus armor rating while holding a melee weapon and can allow a perfect block unlocked at 20. Okay, so that won't be used probably at all because we don't have melee. Perfect blocks cause the attacker to take damage instead. That's fun if you're playing a melee character. The persuade skill is used to, in conversations and also has a chance to inflict cower, crippling fear when you first damage a human target. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, a chance to cower resets after 10 seconds, allowing a dan damaged human to cower again. Life skills used in conversation inflict scramble, slowly attack allies on an auto mechanical when attacking you. Chance to scramble resets 10 seconds after auto mechanical attacks you, so that affects robots. Um, inflict terrify, flee a short time on nearby creatures when you kill one, so this attacks or this affects animals. Uh, 20% chance creatures you strike with critical hit will become terrified. That doesn't sound as good as the others. Sneak. Um, interesting, okay. Uh, sneak skill reduces your de detection range while crouch increases NPC awareness decay and allows pickpocket and sneak attacks. I'd never sneak in these games, so I'm terrible at it. I don't have the patience. Sneak attacks which kill their target do not alert other enemies. Hack. The hack skill reduces hacking time and number of bypass stunts needed for hacking and can allow you to hack an auto mechanical below. Hack turned off auto mechanicals to scramble them. Oh, nice. Lock picking. I want all this stuff. Uh, reduces the unlock time and number of mag, mag picks. I guess that's what we call lock picks in this game. Needed for picking locks. The first item in every locked container, which is free to open, can be stolen without consequence. Okay, that's really fun. <laughs> I kind of want to just play a thief. <laughs> uh, let's see. A medical skill increases the heal amount provided from items in inhaler. Increases the duration of effects and opens extra slots. 
After using the inhaler, gain 20, plus 20% damage per consumable slot used. Last 10 seconds. I'm terrible at using consumables. Healing, maybe, though. Science skill increases damage of plasma and shock damage weapons. Science also improves the special effects of science weapons. Higher science skill unlocks the ability to tinker any weapon, armor in the workbench, incre increasing their power. Crit chance and sway of science weapons are determined by science skill if higher. Okay. This is like the, these types of games version of magic. I don't like that all of that's in one skill. I guess it's easy to amp it up though. Engineering skill reduces armor parts and weapon parts needed to repair your equipment. That's actually really helpful. And maybe I should put that higher. In inserting a new mod is a has a 100% chance of recovering the existing mod. Okay. Um, Inspiration. Skill increases damage inflicted by your companions. Companions provide 10% bo skill bonus to player skills while an unreliable. The determination skill increases the maximum health of your companions. A companion is sent back to the unreliable. A different companion can replace them. That's kind of cool. Um, is there anything that I wish was higher? Engineering, maybe. Um, lock picking for sure. I wish I could just select lock picking because I don't really care about that. Um, maybe Subtle we get that. Discreet. Exactly what I need. Maybe we get that up to twenty just so that we can. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick to unlock are free to open. So we get that above 20. That'll be nice. And then get hack up to unlock the ability to sell goods to vending machines, which will be very nice. Um, and then long guns are above 20, which is good. We probably won't get one for a while, though. I imagine in most of these games you don't. Um, do I want my persuade skill? Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for 3 seconds after the first time you hit them. Nah, not really. Maybe I want engineering up. How At high last, does I get that? A kindred oh, so spirit. Maybe I just want my my um, engineering up more. What increases engineering? So I have this. Hmm. This increases lock picks, which I want. Uh, persuade, hack, medical science. Engineering is here. Mm. I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, 19 is pretty good, but I think uh, my long gun's sorry up at 20. Unlock TTD location hit effects, which is just like the VAT system, I think. I think that's, I don't know what it's actually called. But this allows us uh, tinker, improve your weapons and armor in the workbench. This allows us to kind of mess with our weapons. Unlock the second drug mixing slot for the inhaler, inhaler, which is the healing item, which I don't really care that my medical is that high, though. Can I lower that? What brings medical up so much? Is it because it's under this? Mm, I really like my crit chance being high though. Maybe I just go even across these three. So I can bring my engineering up. Uh... What does that bring stuff to? 2020, 30 on lockpick, which is really nice. Um, this brings it down by one, which is not too bad. Uh, ooh, that second um, long gun's critical damage plus 50% is actually really good. So maybe we bring that up instead. Because now if we put this in here, oops. A crack shot. Capital. That's up to 30 now. That That's really good. And engineering's still at 13. We weapons and armor in the inventory. Ooh. Actually, having that up might be really good. So if I do this... You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Um, I think that's a good idea. I'm assuming that we can re skill at some point if we really get desperate to. 
I like having this a little bit higher because that second thing is going to be great. And we'll level up pretty soon so we can put some more into lock picking. Um, because I don't really care for those two. I don't know if you can specify sooner after this too, but I think having those up will be nice. Okay, that gives us second thing, improve your weapons armor in the workbench, and also field repair, which is nice if you don't have to find a workbench. Alright, next page. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go through these aptitudes. Um, no discernible aptitude. Colonists sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to use it, how to be useful at Halcyon. Termination by one. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go back and figure out what determination was. Oh, that's that. I don't care. Uh, the Halcyon colony needs good people, but it will settle for ones who can mix a memorable drink as a human cocktail shaker. You've made cock concoctions that could end wars or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Beverage service tech. Drink effect duration, don't care about that. Block, don't care about that. Should I read through all these? Sure, why not? Bureaucrat, the universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Halcyon is no exception if something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, recertified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. Cashier subgrade, non-supervisory. Okay, we done with that. How many of these can we pick? Just one, I'm guessing. Um, no transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the ka -chunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up the redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day come back real soon bye bye now are <laughs> more than empty words they're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier that is not me although getting her persuade up would be nice uh construction electrician class wire spooler contrary to popular belief cable management is an art form actually that is very true and i agree with it Something about hiding electrical wiring behind panels to maximize the airflow just makes you sigh with relief. Colonists don't need to worry about the bypass and workarounds that keep the power flowing. That's your burden to shoulder. Shock damage received, negative three. Elevator operations specialist. A proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you come from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Engineering plus one. What is our engineering at? Okay, we don't need that plus one. Ideally, if we could get lock picking maybe up. I know, we'll see. Uh, factory worker, conveyor operator. Safety and efficiency don't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your coworkers at the factory were amputees. You survived the trenches of the assembly long, long enough to know when a hydraulic press just wants to pancake some fingers. Thankfully, you managed to keep all of yours. Farmer dirt. <laughs> what is this one? Dodge. Okay. Uh, you got into this business for the tubers, but you stayed for the plowing, planting, pruning, and plucking. This is honest work. If you came home clean, worms need dirt and food needs worms. You're just doing your part for the worms. In raid damage received, okay. Food additives tester. Sometimes quality control means spilling a delicious borst smoothie, but most of the time it means spilling toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise now that your stomach lining has the consistency of broken in saddle. It's easy to explore your culinary limits. Food effect duration plus three. Janitor janitor. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Sanitation class. You spend your evenings kneeling over ominous stains with a bo bottle of caustic solvent and an absorbent rag. How the blood got there is irrelevant, above your pay grade and beneath your interest. You're an artist at Erasure. When you're on the job, there's no trace to be found. Corrosion damage received, negative three. Uh, let's see. Tossball team mascot. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that Team Spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. <laughs> Your last major head injury in the field unknocked some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in the Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that not one, that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Inspiration plus one. Medical technician junior grade. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons who entrust you with stuffing cotton balls into pill bottles. 
experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illness doesn't take a found a formal education with search terminal and a little imagination will do the trick okay uh safety inspector if your line of work in your line of work the corporation's bottom line needs more protection than its personnel Guardrails aren't free. Thermal shielding needs replacing, and a hatch that seals reliably, reliably is a luxury. You're on the y vanguard of ensuring that every possible expense is spared, since corners don't cut themselves yet. You prefer to think of workplace accidents as happy little coincidences. Oh my god. Uh, scientist assistant level 0 class A. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes on in them and why maybe you didn't get in the business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments but that's just part of the job even if you cannot see what happens in the lab you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares science plus one and sous chef um the hierarchy of the modern kitchen is a ladder of many rungs your role as assistant to the second deputy chef's aide is one of the middling distinction but you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual emptying of grease pans and the backbreaking labor of gravy restoration you're holding out for that advancement to poultry inspection which is due in a year now okay let's see what do i want to add to uh Block one. Actually, what is my block skill at? If we go back. Um, my block is at 16. Which is just armor, which would be nice to get up. Uh, construction, election. Oh, I really like that one. I like it just because, yes. <laughs> but to put my character. Uh, factory worker. Which one do I like the best is really what it comes down to. Although getting dodge up would be good. Is this the same thing? No, it's block. Oh, dodge is different, right? Um, I think I might do factory worker. That makes sense to me. Yeah. No missing fingers? You are good at your job. <laughs> uh, yeah, that gets our armor rating up a little bit, which is good. Very good, because I tend to get shot in these games. Um, uh, okay. Gender, we're going with female, because I'm basic like that. Let's get a head that I like. I'm so bad at this. This is why I never, like, make characters in The Sims. So far I like none of them. Okay, I don't- I don't like that one. Don't like that one. This one looks okay, actually. 13 looks okay. No one's a little meh. Okay, 5 is okay. 13 and 5. Ugh. Um. Or. I think I like the other one better. A little meh. Uh, let's see what we got for skin. Pale boy. Eye color. Let's do a fun eye color. Ooh. I like that. Ooh, I like that too. So I'm basing this character off a future book idea. So I might go with that eye color. This is a character that has lived in my brain rent free for the last couple years and has nothing to do with the actual book that I've written or that I'm currently writing. But. It's just fun. I think I'll go with that. I get a light. Uh, I like the dark gray more. That's gray, right? Yeah, that looks gray. Uh, uh, the brows look fine to me. I don't know. Oh. I 
I mean, I wish she had brows, but they look fine. No, oh, that looks fine. Somewhere in there. I think, I don't know if I'm trying to make this look like me. I don't think I am. Let's bring this down just a smidge. Uh, jaw. Can I see the jaw from here? I like that, okay. Uh, I like that, that's fine. Okay. I'm not trying to make this look like me, by the way. I'm just kind of making it the way it is. I mean, this is a pretty generic, like, video game character. Should I give her, like, a cute little nose? If I do that, I have to move the mouth back up. Hold on. Yeah, look at a cute little nose! <laughs> They're like no cheekbones. That's good. Um, bring that up just a little bit. No, I liked it better down. Now the beauty of this game is it actually saves that those settings. So if you go back through these presets, yeah, I definitely don't like that one. Your ears are weird. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's actually really cute. I like this one though. I think it turned out okay. Um, can we raise her brows up a little bit? Oops, not that way. Brow vertical. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, cheeks. So let's go to hair. Ooh, cute. Maybe I can get my new hairstyle for me this game, actually. Uh, let's do a hair color first so we can see what we're doing. Oh. Maybe I should do green hair instead of, like... Yeah, hold on. Let me turn, turn it to a hair where I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Do I want to do a fun hair color? I think I'm gonna leave it boring. Just do like a ooh, dark red though. Also, I wish they had more lighting on this so you can actually see this color better, but it's just a pet peeve of mine. I'm surprised I don't have like a blonde blonde. I think I'm gonna do black and then we can do hairstyle like I kind of like this hairstyle but it's not not the character we're making I don't know the name of this character is loosely based on the book idea character not necessarily the looks or the um, personality can we oh that's cute Ugh, can you imagine having to do an updo every day? <laughs> that is one nice thing about this game too, is that they don't like force you to male or female hair. It's just here's all the hairstyles, big one. That's actually really practical, low bun. Just don't like there not being any bangs. I'm gonna really pick the first hairstyle. Oh, I kind of like that. That's cute. Mohawk. Bald. Ugh, 
lovely messy bun less messy bun I kind of like the curly curly on the side look I think I'm gonna do like fun colors I'm gonna do green in honor of the green hair that I wish I could have yeah like a dark green I really do like that hair, but... Mm -hmm. I am gonna leave it on that. Okay. Eyebrows. Where's, like, normal eyebrow? Why are they so square, you know? It's a little normaler. Normaler. Ooh. Cut eyebrows. Fancy. Imagine keeping up with those and on the job. I think I liked like these. Those look fine. Oh, you can add facial hair. <laughs> okay, there's not a lot of that. Okay, we don't need to do facial hair color. Oh, wow, makeup. Ooh. Ooh. How much makeup? Ooh, I like that lipstick. That's cute. That's fun. It's a bit much. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you need like age stuff. Oh, freckles, cute. Oh, she looks so cute with freckles. I might do freckles. I can add that many. Do goth makeup. That's good. Oh, you can do scars. Oh, just a constant bloody nose. Just a. <laughs> I feel like the idea that this person just always gets in a fight. Ooh, be like a raider. Um, I think I'm gonna do the freckles, cause that's cute. Oh, you can just like put dirt on her for some reason. No, I don't want I don't want dirt. I don't want to be dirty. I do like scars. I think they add so much to characters in these games. Oops. That one's creepy. I always go for eye scars. Maybe I'll do something different this time. Because there's just nothing more iconic than almost losing an eye. Ooh. Somebody tried to kill her. I, the burns are kind of cool though too because it leans into that factory worker. Ooh, I kind of like those. Oh, the, I don't like it on that side. That's too much. I like the idea of like maybe she got into a factory accident. There's the one just down her eye. Yeah, so maybe she got into a factory accident. Oh geez, that one's kind of a bit much. There we go. I like that one. I like it when it was just on one side because and it's not like weirdly deep, you know what I mean? Okay, let's age her up because I'm old. Okay, I'm not that old. Maybe I am that old. How many wrinkles I got? Oh wow, you can actually make this person like super old. Uh, we're gonna give her some laugh lines. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Name. I've already picked out a name for this character. I think that'll, that'll suit her just fine. This is Willow. She's just, she's just, um, what, what did I pick as my aptitude? She's just a factory worker trying to, trying to get her life together. Um, all right. I think these are good numbers to start with. We're starting pretty high in guns, which will give us a kind of a heads, uh, 
momentum forward for the um, long guns. So I'm super excited about all that. But yeah, that's I think where this egg. Um, yeah, that's where this uh, episode is going to end. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, I think he just picked me. He picked me because I'm really good at shooting stuff. I can't wait to prove him wrong. Because <laughs> if I panic, I just I don't know what to do. Not likely, bootlickers. Oh, Initiate they got you. So he just like boarded that ship, stole a frozen human, and like went to Terra too, orbiting labo labo laboratory Halcyon system. I hope there's a map in this game. <sighs> Skip drive. Shit. Why did he steal me? We may never know. Am I alive? Did you kill me? Are you trying to take my legs? I need those. I need those to run. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Oh. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. Oh. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Mm. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Okay, yeah? At all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Okay. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. <laughs> now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! I know, this is cutting off some of the subs... <laughs> Oh, yeah, your buttons never work, dude. It's, cu it's cutting off some of the subtitles. I might wait to see if it, in game it cuts off a lot of them. Maybe I'll just shrink down my face. I don't know. We'll find out. Crouching is useful. Yeah, I'll never fucking use that. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. Oh, so now we're dealing with other criminals? Your, uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a, a spacesuit. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted mm. you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check I like that. as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. I don't know if we can trust that guy. He seems nice. He did save us from a pod, so. There is that. Or maybe he sent us to our, our doom because we just crash landed. Hello, let me out. There's the moon, a moon. I don't know how many moons there are on this planet. Ooh, look, some rings. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. Were you not sure? Name? Is that him? Ooh. Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Yikes, sorry about oh, Hawthorne. I don't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Alright. That is where we're going to end today's episode. Uh, thank you for bearing with me on um, putting up with a, creating a character. 
Uh, and a little sneak peek of what the game's gonna look like. I'm, I'm kind of excited. The beauty of this game, too, is that you're not restricted to one map. You get to load into other planets, and you have a spaceship, and it's gonna be so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys back here next time.